the voltage that you have to provide for this LED to glow also will depend on that band gap and the wavelengths. So, lower the wavelengths, higher the photon energies, higher is the uh, band gap and uh, more forward voltage you will have to apply to turn it on and the vice versa. So, let us uh, uh, glow two LEDs and see how it works. So, this is how a single LED looks like. You must have uh, worked with uh, LED torch and LED bulbs. So, they contain several such LEDs in combination, but a single LED just looks like this. You have a transparent uh, cover, so that whatever light is emitted by the diode that can come out. And then you have two these connecting wires. The sizes as you can see the sizes of these two are different. Okay? One is shorter, one is longer. This is to tell that this longer one is to be connected at the higher voltage side and this to the lower voltage side for forward bias forward biasing. So, this is the P side and this is the N side. So, let us connect this uh, up supply some voltage and see what happens. So, I have this uh, 9 volt battery, but I cannot uh, give this 9 volt on the LED it will just uh, blow. I uh, will talk about that little bit. So, what I am doing is I, am, I have taken this uh, wire this is a heater coil and I will connect this battery at the ends of these two wires. So, the one I am connecting and one I will connect when needed. So, this will go here. Okay. So, this whole 9 volt is dropped on this and then I can take part of it. Smaller voltages I can take from here. So, let me take the LED and the longer leg I am connecting to this red connecting wire and the shorter leg I am connecting to this black connecting wire. So, this is our LED and then uh, this longer one P side that is connected to this end which is at higher voltage. In battery also this red one is at uh, the positive terminal of the battery. So, this is a higher voltage point. Now, I will connect this to give this 9 volt over this and then give the voltage to this cell. So, I am connecting close to this end, so that very small voltage is given to the LED and you can see that the LED is not glowing. Okay? So, I connect it here and you see that it is not glowing because only a small voltage is given. Now, I am increasing the voltage by taking it away from this end point, I am increasing the voltage. So, it is not glowing, it is not glowing, it is not glowing and here it is. Here you can see and you can also see that it is red LED. Okay? I will not increase the voltage too much otherwise my LED will go bad. So, up to here nothing happens and after this you can see that it starts glowing. So, this much voltage is needed to put it on. I have another one, I have another one and here also you have two connecting leads, one is longer, one is shorter. So, the longer one I am connecting to the positive side of the battery and the other one I will connect to this other side like this. Okay? So, this is it and now I am giving voltage and you see where it starts glowing very low voltage, this length is very small. I am increasing the voltage because this length is increasing. So far nothing happened, nothing happened, nothing happened. I am giving this much of voltage here and this much I have given and now you can see, now you can see it is glowing and you can see it is a blue LED. All right. so, to to glow this blue LED, I have to use a much larger length of this uh, heater coil. See, up now it has started little bit 
glowing and here it is here it is okay and if i do it reverse it will not glow it's a diode so so typically typically these leds the forward turn on voltage is depending on the color it could be somewhere say 1.6 volt uh, for the the longer wavelength and maybe some 3 3.5 volts for the shorter wavelengths so this will correspond to this will correspond to or this range will correspond to blue and this range will correspond to red and you should not give uh, too much of voltages after this forward turn on because you know the diode characteristics the diode characteristics is in forward bias it goes like this suddenly it increases okay so if this is let us say 1.6 volt and the other let me draw it another another characteristic suppose one is this and this is somewhere let us say 3 volts or 3.2 volts this is i and this is v this is forward biased you can uh, very easily make out that this curve is this iv characteristic curve is for red and this is for blue 